Hey guys, it's Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. Uh, I just want to give a quick disclaimer about this video. I've been vegan before and I've been on tons of different diets like a paleo diet, anti-candida diet, where nothing, where everything you eat, nothing in that can be, can break down to sugar. Like, so no carrots, no, no sugar, no, nothing direct like that. I've been on raw diets, I've been on raw vegans diets, things to figure out what works best with my stomach, grain-free diet. Uh, so I've been on a ton of different diets, and I'm not saying any of them's the best, uh, and that's my quick disclaimer. So I might have some bias in this, but I'm trying to give it the least amount of bias as possible for this video. So there's a cool new study that just came out about baboons. They took baboons and they fed, fed them the standard American diet, so a Western diet, and they found out their biodiversity and their microbiome was very similar similar to an average human, a Western westernized diet human. And they, there's another study showing, or also their biodiversity was less. So they have less types of different types of bacteria in their gut. And so there's another study showing that the different types of bacteria, so the larger amount of bacteria you have, the, the less chance you have for fatigue. So they've found out new biomarkers for chronic fatigue syndrome with people who have less biodiversity. So essentially, if you took an antibiotic that wiped you out or you had a bad bacteria that messed you up, they're finding biomarkers in the gut, which are showing for chronic fatigue syndrome. That's another cool study that just came out. So what this proves, and that there's also enzymes and DNA that, that do turn on when you eat meat, such as if you were to eat fat, fat, animal-based fat, uh, there shows that there's certain bacteria that feeds on bile, so bile that comes out of your gallbladder, that comes out of your liver. This type of bacteria lives in that and only comes out when you eat animal fats. So that's not the best bacteria to have, and that bacteria is actually a pro-inflammatory pro, pro bacteria. So, and as we talked about in a different video, inflammation can cause chronic fatigue, can cause depression and things like that. So like depression in, or depression's uh, main cause is inflammation in the brain and we talked about how to get rid of that. You can check out that out in a different video I'll post in the description and I can post it right here. Uh, so what they found is that this bacteria that goes into bile with animal fat will give you more inflammation. So that, maybe that's something we want to cut out. Maybe a vegan diet or a vegetarian diet, something very similar to that, uh, is healthier for us. I'm not saying it is, but that's just my, my assumption based on these studies. It's really fascinating to see how we were once animals or creatures that ate vegetables, like 20 servings of vegetables a day. We ate berries and fruits and things that we could find. But when we found meat, that was probably maybe once a month, twice a month. And when we ate it, we were able to eat it and get the nutrients that we needed for it. But were we actually creatures where we were supposed to eat meat or eggs or dairy, just animal products three times a day? I don't know. I just found that fascinating for our microbiome to be healthy and to reduce inflammation. So maybe it's something good to try a vegan diet. If you've never tried it before, maybe try it. It could be good. You can check out my other video. It talks about a vegan diet and what to do and how easy it is to get started. Most people think it's really difficult. I cook 21 meals a week. So that's what, three meals per day, seven days a week. So thanks guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more episodes like this. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it, but comment why you didn't like it. So thanks guys. Stay beautiful.